Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another unboxing video from the Gamer Shack. Today we're doing a new to me block, and this one is called Fright Crate. So, as you can see, just by looking at there quickly, you can see www.frightcrate.net at Fright Crate for Twitter and at Fright Crate Horror for Facebook. So, go check them out. Um, I think the first one of these came in October. Uh, so I think this, this is like the fifth, their uh, fifth box. So the unboxings I've seen up to now, they've been pretty good. Uh, it is fairly pricey here in the UK. It cost me about £45. But the shipping, as I'm looking here, was £21.38. Which is fucking expensive. Um, so a lot of the cost of the crate is coming from there. But they started doing a, what they're calling Fright Crate Light, I believe. And that's I think that's $20 for the box. I don't know what the shipping is for that. I'm not, I've not looked into that. Um, so hopefully that will drop it down by, you know, quite a bit. So I'll probably get a fry crate light going forward if I'm happy with the contents of this. So anyway, I bought this as a Valentine's gift for my girlfriend. Um, unfortunately, I'm opening it now. That was a stipulation. She saw it. She wanted it. And I said, I'll buy you it on the condition... I get to unbox it for the channel. This is I. Uh, okay. So, here we go. And she gets it today. She gets it early. So, first things first, we have a hostel figure. Never really a fan of the hostel films. Seem a bit like torture porn type shit. I'm not really, that's not really my type of horror. I don't really define that as horror. I just define it as like torture porn. Uh, it's not really my sort of thing. But, yeah, that's it anyway. So, I don't know if you can really see that, or we're just getting sort of feedback from all other shit that's behind my camera. So, I can't even tell you what this dude's name is. I think I started watching one and it's bored me, so I turned it off. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, <laughs> so, we've got a Sam Resin Magnet from Trick or Treat. So, everybody always loves Sam. It seems very, very popular. A uh, very popular character. Never actually seen Truck or Treat until I got with my girlfriend. Um, and I quite enjoy that. It's a good little film. We've got another... Ah, another, oh, no, it's a pin. I thought there was another magnet. Or is it a magnet on the back? Ah, oh, I think it's both. And it lights up. Okay. So, it's a lost LED pin. How's this work then? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, does that look? You can see that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Don't know where that's quite going to go, but my house will find somewhere for that. Okay. Ah, that's pretty cool. So this is from. This is like a guest artist, Heather Mercado. So yeah, there's commissions there, and there's their email address if you want her to do you anything. So yeah, there's that, another uh, check or treat picture, this one time one of Sam. So I'm trying to get a picture like, I get you to see that so you're not getting like the reflections from behind my camera. So yeah, but yeah, I quite like that, that's pretty cool. That will have to find somewhere for that downstairs, I quite like that. It's good when you get artwork. I appreciate at times when you get artwork in boxes, but when you just get a card, it's kind of, you never end up doing anything with it. Well, I never do anyway. It's rare I've, um, if I've even displayed any of the artwork. Because, you know, you want it in a frame so you can just put it all straight away and not have to dick around finding frames for it. We have a t shirt. Okay, so you can see that. Oh, that's from a uh, Puppet Master. It's ages since I've seen that film. I'm going to have to refresh on that. So, yeah, I can't really remember anyone's names. I just remember the characters being from Puppet Master. So, yeah, that's. Oh, that's not quite everything. Because they were doing spoilers. On, let me just double check this. Okay, so 
you have to use a code, so I'm going to hide the code. So with um, with this, you get these. I believe these are like indie horror films. So there's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six films. There's like six films you can rent online um, from iBleedIndie.com. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's. I don't want to give the code away because it's obviously it's for those who's bought the box and it wouldn't be fair. So yeah, if you want to pause and read that. Now it's something strange, head, dismembering Christmas, under the rainbow, bloody knuckles, and resilience short. So, yeah, you get those free just by, you know, well I say free, it's part of the box. So, they have been teasing that on Facebook, saying, um, you know, that this was going to be something for the box. So yeah, quite looking forward to that now. Five films to watch as well. <coughs> so, Overall impressions. So this is my first one. Um, to me, it doesn't overly warrant its money. Uh, £45 is a lot of money, and obviously that comes through postage. Postage is very, very expensive. If you can find a way to drop that postage a bit, it'll be more, more warranted for its money. I do enjoy everything. Everything's cool. Um, it's not as good as some of the other ones I've seen. I'll be honest there, but it is cool. I do like the item, so I like that. I do like that. I like the t-shirt. The t-shirt's cool. Movies are cool. Uh, I believe this is like a little... Ah, yeah, so... That's sort of like what's in the box. Uh, so, overall, it's kind of hard to warrant the value of it for what I've got. If that kind of makes sense, it's kind of... I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm shitting on the crate because I'm not. I did enjoy, I do enjoy what we've got, but I, I'm finding it hard to warrant forty-five pound. It's, it, that's down to exchange rate at the minute over here. Obviously, our exchange rates all fucked up, um, and also postage costs is ramped it up. So, but I say they do the light now, so I'm probably going to opt for that one. Um, let's hope I don't miss any cool quality items. Uh, so next, we've got a special announcement letter in here as well. Um, we'll be offering a $20 crate along with a $30, so obviously this is a $30, uh, starting in the 1st of February. Nothing's changed, there's still no auto renewal, so they don't auto renew, so if you want it, you've got to renew it every month. Um, and preview for next month, you've got Freddy, you've got Hellraiser, I can't remember what that's called, Mars, Mars Attacks. Can't remember. I think that is Mars Attacks. That do I'm sure. I can't remember. So yeah, so that's what's going to be in next month. So I will order about a lot of the likes. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any difference in postage, but if we could try and find a way to bring the postage down, that would be gratefully uh, appreciated. But the guy who runs this, Jay, his name is. He's a cool, pretty cool guy. Uh, very active on Facebook. Quick to reply to your messages. Any issues, you can contact him. Speak to him. He'll try and help you out as best you can. You can't fault his customer service. It's tip top on that matter. Um, but uh, for me, I've got to try and find a way to make this a bit cheaper because it's hard to spend. When I think an average box that I buy is twenty pound, twenty twenty five pounds, and I expect this for twenty twenty five pounds, and I'm spending an additional twenty pounds on top of that. It's kind of hard to justify, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I do enjoy this box. I'm going to get the light for next month and see how I get on with that one. So, if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below. Go along and check that out. Um, I'll add a link to their Facebook page. Go and give them a like. Check out some other unboxing videos. Uh, see for the previous months. There's some really, really good items for previous months, um, which is obviously what I bought that on the strength of. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what you think to this box. Uh, if you're from the UK, do you think it warrants the money? Um, or do you think the light would be better? So if you can try and find a better way to drop the postage, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I think I've said that about five times now. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Cheers now.